Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. Another Android game. So this is Dealer's Life. Let's check it out. Okay, what is your level of maximum three skill per thing? Hmm, right. So let's put my name in first. So my name is Shirley Rocks. Competence, charisma, insight, and luck. Hmm. What's going to be a good one to pick? Right. So your skill, your skill values are fundamental parameters that define how the game will evolve and what you'll be able to do. Tap on every skill name to know details about it. Okay. So competence is the less competence you have, the less items you'll be able to estimate, and the less accurate your estimates will be. Charisma is get more openness from the hardest customer. Thanks to your arguments, you'll be able to sell counterfeit items easily. Insight, you know everything about your customer's personality or enable to recognize counterfeit items easily. And look, increases the average number of customers you'll encounter every day. Ah, oh, they all, why do they all sound good? Um, what shall I do? Charisma, maybe? Do one in that. I've got five points to assign. What about, what was competence? The less you have, the less items you'll be able to estimate. Okay, let's, that sounds quite important. Let's put two into that. I've got two points left. Let's stick those into luck. There we go. Let's go for it. Okay, tutorial tip. It's morning. The working day is about to begin. In this phase of the game, you can manage things like move to a new shop, hire and fire employees, increase your skill and perform actions and items. Remember that once you open your shop, you won't be able to do such things until the next day. Okay. So I, I, I do we need to rent? Have we got a shop? Shop for rent. Okay. Filled shop for rent. Fantastic shop in the suburbs. So it gives me uh Plus two inventory size. It gives me fame points. Maximum customers a day. Oh, yeah. I guess we, we start off in our normal shop and then we have to buy another shop. For 5,000 gold. Do I need to hire anyone? B Blannister is looking for a job. It's always good to have someone looking. <laughs> it's a lucky leprechaun. Um, do I want to have you? Yes. I want a lucky lepre leprechaun. What's the next bit of hire as well? Experts can make quick estimates. I can't afford him now, apparently. Haven't I got 4,600? 4, 4, Maybe I can only have one person for hire. Okay, let's click open. Your shop is open. You can always tap your first customer to get details about him or tap the item. Uh, oh, this is not a normal customer. Pay much attention to such encounters as they... Oh, where? I can't even see because of the, the tips. Right, finally, did somebody finally buy this shack after all? Nice to meet you. I'm the next door pawn shop's owner. The best pawn shop in town, just to be clear. Okay, next door. That's right. Did you really open a pawn shop here without caring about me working next door? Haha, <laughs> you're already doomed. We'll see. What I see here in a moment is a pawn novice. According to my fame meter, your fame level is the lowest I've ever seen. Uh, ha, you don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Fame level is what really matters in our business. It grants you big deals, money, and well fame. I didn't know it. Only by improving your abilities and by moving to more procedure shops, you can hope to increase your fame level. I bet you won't even begin to become a beginner. Right, let's on with the deals. Right, what's this? Hey man, name's Sybil Telegram. I'm here to sell a unique piece. Now you'll cover me with money. Um, what is it? It's good condition. It's worth 670 bucks. Um, okay, let's deal. Now you can haggle your customer to make the best deal you can. To change the value of the offer, you can use the blue buttons in the bottom. Alternatively, you can put a specific value by tapping the white button. Tap V to make your offer or X to quit negotiations. Okay. Uh, it's worth 650. Let's say I'll give you 650. Well, 650. You say 650. I say 760. Well, what about I'll give you 660? Listen, I'll, no, 660, no. What? How is that even, how have I just agreed to that? That was probably a wrong thing to do. Hey, what's up? You can call me Dharma Gray. I was cleaning up my pockets. I found a treasure. Right, what is it? Ooh, it's worth nearly four grand though. Okay, let's deal. Now you can haggle your cost. Yeah, we've we done this already. Uh. It's a lot of money. I don't know. 
I think we're going. I think. Oh, what? Ah, uh, every seventh day you'll have to repay your weekly expenses. Make sure you have enough money. Okay, so we've served two customers. We bought one, which was it's cost me one thousand one hundred and thirty. I don't know if that's good or not. It's morning. The working day is about to begin. Okay, so analyst for hire, shop for rent. Ooh, restorer for hire. So we still kind of thought. I think I can only have one person. All right, let's don't show that tip again. Okay, good morning. I'm Thomas Pennyfeather. I want that piece over there. I'll let you think about it. What does he want? Collectible toy. So it's worth 250. Okay, let's deal. Right, let's haggle with him then. Let's turn it off. Guess a price. I'm going to say 250. Well, I'm not entirely satisfied, but I'll accept it. Yes. Money, 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 money. Okay, Patricia Dax, and she wants to buy an item. I don't actually know what items I've actually got in the store. So she wants Domin <laughs> Dominus and Draconians. It's worth $180. Okay, let's dial. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to snap your hand off. You've given me $100 over the limit. Right, we, we, we've seen that tip already. So we've actually made $535 today. Yes. Let's get rid of that tip. Um, we still can't... How much is it to go to a new shop then? Don't have a clue. Won't let me. I wonder if I need to hire new people. Oh, can I, I can see my items here. Okay. The more unlocked items you have in your inventory, the more buyers will come in your shop. Okay. So I've got a fridge that's worth nothing. Uh, an old toy that's worth 485. I don't know what that's worth though. Trophy. Now is does this can I actually keep this after a while, I wonder? Um I thought we sold the toy. Maybe we didn't. Okay, so I can view my employees in this one. Gives me plus one look. Okay, let's open up. I did say you can click on them and get a bit of information. I'm sure it's that. He, he looks a bit swanky. Michael Torres. I want that item. Okay, what item do you want? Ooh, he, he want, I nearly trashed it. He wants the terrible fridge. Okay, 570. Yes, you can have that. You can take that horrible fridge. Uh, I desire that gem over there. Okay. 410. Mm, let's say 450. Okay. You bent me arm behind me. Okay. Did she is sat. What? That's the most strange thing. Okay, so we have made more money. We've got made a thousand off that. Nice. So how do I get more items? I guess I get, need more people to come in the store. Is anyone going to sell me something? Okay, looks like one of the sex pistols is coming in over there. Okay, Valentine Gage. What have you got? Okay, so you want to buy that. Uh, let's deal. Right, 420. You are not taking it serious. What if I say 285? Well, if you say that, I say 500. Well, we're still not there. Okay, get out of my shop. My name is Craig O'Neill. I'm thinking about buying that gem. Now, can I sell in that? I paid 730 for it. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Profit, profit, profit. How do pawn shops work, though? Because I've just sold someone's possession. Surely that's wrong. Okay, I need, to, I need to buy some more stock. I've only got the one miser miserable figure. Uh, okay, she's going to sell me something. Ooh, a hockey stick. It's not It's not really worth anything, though. Uh, I don't think it's worth that much. I'm going to give you $100 for it. I don't even know what it's even worth. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll increase my margins a little bit. I'll give you 150 for it. Okay, maybe that... I wonder if that was worth more money then. 
Okay, what on earth? Is that a walking stick or are you selling me something? Okay, he wants to sell me a football that's worth $87. $87. Mm, okay, he's selling it to me. Nice. What have you got for sale? Oh, you want to buy that? 420 Yeah, you can have it. We're not going to have much stock left at this rate. Um, don't think we need to do any of these things. No. I don't think we can even hire anything. We definitely can't rent a new shop. Whoa, I've just seen the weekly cost. 90,000. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be going there for a while. I've got one miserable item now, a football. Okay, my name is David Sherbatsky. Oh, a rugby ball. That's pretty good. Let's deal. 315. I think I can accept your offer. Nice. Ooh, free gift. What's a, what's a short video to receive a, a prize? Okay, I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to cut it out and then we'll see what prize we get. Okay, we've got a prize. $353. Not bad, not bad. Uh, ooh, forger for hire. Oh, we need to be premium. So they can transform a standard item with any featuring some more valuable treasure. Ooh. Oh, that'd be tempting. Anyway, let's do some legitimate business. This this looks like a reputable guy. He's got a cap on and a dicky bow. Harry Sh Sherbatsky. Okay, he's got a silver coin that's worth 400 bucks nearly. Let's give him 320. <laughs> what? That just, just works. I don't know how it works. Um, nope, none of that. Okay, come on, we need to buy more stuff. Ooh, got a few people. What is that? A rifle produced in 1994. Okay, let's. I'm not sure. Okay, we got it. We got us a gun. We've cleaned it up. Nice. Uh, what do you want to buy? Okay, American football. 134. Nice. Kenny Stallone, what do you want? Oh, another of these uh, coins. Okay. Let's uh, offer you 370. Nice. Well, actually, no, we, we just sold that, didn't we? I I I do you know what? I thought we'd actually just bought that. I'm such a noob. Right. I'm going to do one more date. Let's see what we get. What what items are we going to get? That looks very much like a fidget spinner. Okay, let's deal. Uh, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you $5 for it. Um, no. I'm not, I'm not giving you $400 for a fidget spinner. Okay. What she got? A Mario wallet. Oh, it's a cartridge. $37. Okay, I'll give you 27 Hopefully we can clean that up a little bit. Made $4,000. Nice. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all I'm going to show you for this for now. So uh, let us know if you want to see some more of this on the channel. Looks looks a pretty interesting game. Uh, looks like there's a lot, a lot of like, leveling up I can do. I can actually increase my skills and stuff like that. By increasing your skills, your fame will grow. Ooh. Okay, I've not got any I don't think I've got any more points at the moment, but yeah. So if you do want to see some more of this on the channel, then uh, let me know so we can have a little bit more dealer's life. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.